I'm Jamal Chandler with Cbo Global Markets, and this is Volatility 411 for Thursday, April 23rd. Another Thursday, another initial jobless claims. We had 4.4 million people filing for initial jobless claims for the week ending April 18th. Um, there was also 16 million continuing claims, so I find that compelling to keep track of that number. That brings the four-week moving average to 5.79 million, and believe it or not, some of the industries that were affected for these past week was uh, healthcare, social assistance, arts, and entertainment, so that's interesting. Um, that brings the five-week total going back since the pandemic really hit us hard to 26 million people for initial jobless claims. Uh, believe it or not, the last five Thursdays, the market has actually gone up on these initial jobless claims number. So that's a compelling thing to watch there. Global index volatility has come in meaningfully over these last couple of weeks, but by no means is it low. To give you an example of what I mean, SPX 10 day realized volatility. Two weeks ago, it was a 55 vol. Uh, one week ago, it was a 43 vol. And today we're at a 36 vol. And I believe the highest we've seen during this time period was 116. So um, we've seen it come in quite a bit, but it still remains elevated. VIX index today is a sub 40, just below um, on this move up in the S&P 500 index. VIX futures, though, across all terms, uh, they're above a 29, even going out to December 2020. We have seen that election premium come back in in the October futures, as some of my other colleagues have mentioned. Um, when you have a historic collapse in oil prices that we've seen, you're going, you can imagine that that's going to have some reverberations within the equity markets as well. So I think that's why you're going to see Paul remain elevated. Um, the largest trade we've seen today so far in VIX options is a buyer of the June-July spread, um, the 80 strike calls. They sold the June 80 calls and then bought the July 80 calls. They did that spread 7,300 times for 14 cents. Um, going out for the next week, we're going to have some big earnings from Tesla, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. So keep your eye on that for the time being. That's all for Volatility 411. I'm Jamal Chandler. Stay safe.